The first exercise in the steer list is cable lateral raises, probably one of the best side delt exercises. It's really good to control the movement and you can get an extra depth in the bottom position and can also do a pause at the top for added gains. Top A tier exercise. However, you can make it an S tier exercise by changing few things. You can use a rest trap because usually the rests are the bottleneck for this exercise, not the shoulder. This way you can concentrate all the movements on the side delts. The second thing you can do is switch to the Egyptian lateral raises version. Basically just passing the cable under your leg instead of in front of your leg or behind it. This will give you more range of motion to hit your side delts even more. Most often when I go to the gym the cable machines are all taken. That's why I use the other S tier exercise which is seated dumbbell lateral raises. I usually like to use a 90 degree angle bench. This eliminates all the momentum compared to doing it standing. It's very easy to progress. You can increase the intensity by going slower and controlling the weight or doing more reps or sets and it has very little risk of injury. Moving on from the side delts, an S tier exercise for the rail delts is reverse flies. Here you will want to experiment a bit with the angle and your hand position but when you find a good angle you will feel the immense burn in your rail delts. The next two exercises are two of my all time favorites. If you have been watching this channel you know I love me a good smith machine. That's why seated smith machine shoulder press is also in the S tier. I like doing this at an 80 degree angle just to give me some space to go deep without hurting my shoulder. Similarly if you don't have a smith machine or you're not convinced it's good enough you can use the seated plate loaded shoulder press. It's an amazing machine. You can go all the way down and get all those full range of motion gains. First up in the A tier is over the head press. Some consider this an S tier exercise and I wouldn't disagree too much but the only problem I have with it is that it's really hard to keep adding weight on the bar. You'll get stuck for some years at some point and it's not very kind on your lower back either. Even with a strict form, one bad move and your lower back will start nagging you. All that said, it's a great exercise for strength. Some people like to do some exercises for the front delt. I wouldn't advise you doing that since if you're doing a lot of pressing movements, you're doing a lot of front delts already. But if you want to do them, then the rope front delt raises are an amazing A tier exercise. It has a great range of motion and you can progress easily on them. However though, the muscle that most people neglect is the rail delt. And one of the best exercises for that is face pulls. They are only in the A tier because it's not easy to do it correctly and you will need to play around with the angle and practice it to master the movement. But once you do, it's a great exercise for the rail delts. Upright rows are often hated since Jeff Cavalier said that they sucked a few years ago. I don't really disagree with him. It's not an easy exercise and can be a bit risky. But if you do it correctly, I believe it's an A tier exercise, especially if you want to hit some traps with your shoulders as well. However, for me personally, the rope extension feels a bit safer because you can change the angle a bit more freely than the barbell. And lastly, in the A tier is cable reverse flies. I usually alternate every couple of months between rail dirt exercises and this is usually my favorite one. Great range of motion and feels great in my rail delts. You can also do it single arm at a time. I find this gives me more focus, but of course it will take double the time. As much as I love pressing movements, the seated dumbbell press had always been a bit annoying for me. The setup to get the dumbbell up when the weight is heavy is really annoying and the risk of injury if you're training alone is quite high. That's why it's in the B tier. Next up is dumbbell front raises, which always makes me feel bad for the elbows. They are really heavy on them and the progression isn't going to be easy unless you replace your elbow with a metal one. But that said, it's a good front delt exercise. So B tier for this one. Another exercise that has the same issue is dumbbell rear flies. You can do it standing or seated. If you do it seated, you will have to be a bit lean because your belly can get in your way. If you do it standing and you have lower back pain, you will not have a great time. But they really hit the rail delts quite hard and the setup is quite easy, that's why I put them in the B tier. Now let's talk about Arnold. Press. To me, any exercise that tries to do many movements at the same time is a bit sus, like twisting and pressing. All respect to Arnold, of course, but this exercise is just not good in the setup, not good in progression, and just doesn't feel good at all. Solid D tier exercise. Another exercise that doesn't make any sense to me and always leaves me wondering what's going on is curl press. What are we trying to do here? Biceps or shoulders or what? Again, how do you progress? And is the assumption here is that your biceps and shoulder have the same strengths? Spoiler alert, they don't. Very solid D tier exercise, just because it gave me a good pump while shooting this video. Now if you have a this wish, then look no further than behind the neck overhead press. There are absolutely zero reasons you want to do this. Overhead press is far better and safer. Here the risk of injury is huge. Progression will be super slow because you can literally kill yourself. So very solid F tier exercise. And the last F tier exercise of the day and the last exercise of the day is plate front delts. Progression will be really hard because it's not like you will hold two plates of 20 kilograms to do front delts and your wrists and elbows are working more than your front delts 
and it's not fun. There are way better exercises for front delts. Maybe it's nice to do it as a warm up, but again, there are better options. If you're looking for a program to do that uses most of these exercises, not the FT ones, then check this playlist here. Thanks for watching and see you there.